Mr. Starbird, I mean, when you say if this material gets in the wrong hands, you had the wrong hands in this committee in the first place. Let me, let me, let me just say. And I'm not blaming you for that. No, but, but let me just say, in defense of staff, I mean, the, 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 the standards you're suggesting we use for selection are not the standards that we use. They're much more general. Property owner, resident, frankly, somebody generally with a strong interest in the topic, maybe working for a nonprofit group. We didn't go beyond those basic, simple guidelines. Maybe we should, but we didn't. Um, uh, I think we. I think we should set a standard about uh, litigant versus the city of Glendale as, as a, a threshold. Uh, speaking of litigants against the city of Glendale, I have a card. Mr. Herbert Milano. Thank you very much, uh, Judge Najarian, members of the uh, uh, jury and uh, city staff. My name is Herbert Milano. Uh, prior to the quality of life indicators in 2002, the city of Glendale, the administration of Glendale, provided us with two reports. One report was the status of youth in Glendale, which till today I still think is one of the best reports Glendale, the Glendale administration has provided. And in this particular report, it showed that based on the total city budget of the year 2000, the city spends 1% on youth, 1% of its total budget. In the year 2001, there was a, the, uh, another report called the Recreation and Open Space Report, and Mr. Quintero was a member of the Blue Ribbon Committee that stated and depicted the shortage of parkland in Glendale specifically. It highlighted the area south of the 134 freeway. And it is because of that particular report that I began to get more interested in this type of regular report that came out in 2002. In that report, it stated that the majority of the residents, 70% of the residents of Glendale, live in multifamily housing, and that the majority of multifamily housing owners live outside of Glendale. And in that particular report, it encouraged property owners like myself who live outside of Glendale to participate and become part of this community. And I was exercising that suggestion that was on that Blue Ribbon report. I would like to show you a couple of documents um, from, um, that were obtained, obviously, from city records and city website. Um, I'd like to point to you to a crime mapping document. Um, it's a kind of document that I've been pushing for for many years, and now we finally have one that copies similarly to what's in the city of Los Angeles. It is a document that basically shows on the website where the crime statistics are, and this augments the, uh, the reports from the Department of Justice. If the city clerk can assist me in looking at some of the other documents, there's a picture that I want to show you of the fire truck. Uh, this is more data co concerning crime in Glendale that I encourage the residents to look at. And this is a little bit more relevant here. But I want to show you this for a moment. Let us assume for a moment that you have an experience of a fire truck going towards an accident, and you find that the truck here, it is on Adams, stuck in the middle of traffic. I would like to know, for example, what is the level of congestion that we have in southern Glendale, and how long does it take fire trucks like this to attend to a particular automobile accident that occurred on Broadway and, and Adams. And this is what I'm talking about, having the kind of data that is relevant that allows you to make policy. Now, I'm rushing because I only have this few minutes and I have to defend myself against Mr. Najarian, but my objective is for you to create policy, for you to provide information that will augment the city budget so that it lines up with the type of things that you ought to do in order to improve the quality of life for everyone. Thank you very much. Mr. Mohill. Mike Mohill, Glenda resident, many years. Mr. Mayor, I am disappointed in you tonight. You attacked the messenger of quality of life. He's been here many times talking about it. Because he does, he's not a homeowner or he's not a renter makes him unqualified. However, if Mr. Caruso was part of this group and want to talk about it, he lives in Pasadena, I understand. Would you allow him to his input here? Where are you cutting? You have people who are interested in this city who want to get involved. I didn't put my name on this thing. I didn't want to get involved. But Mr. Milano did. Then the other question you said is, what is the Associated Press? Is that a newspaper or is that a wire service? What is Vanguard? It's an electronic news service. It's not a blog. 
People pay to be to that service. You may not like it, Mr. Nigerian, but you know there are things in the news press I don't like either on the LA Times or the Daily News, etc., etc., etc. You want to pick and choose. This afternoon, you pick a bone with me because I wrote something about the veterans that you disagree with me, and now you're going to take off the gloves because you don't like me. Mr. Mayor, act like a mayor. Now, I, have, I, brought, I left it in my, in my, uh, my desk th back there. I have a magazine about the quality of life in the 100 best cities in the uh, United States, okay? There was only four cities from California. Number one, which was number four of the cities, was Irvine. And Irvine has a population of 208,000 people, which is about the same size as Glendale. <coughs> They got a C for jobs and economy. They got a C for housing. They got an A plus for education. They got an A for arts and leisure and an A for health. Where would Glendale be? If we're gonna do some type of quality of life comparison, I'd like to know. We have, we have parks, we have roads. Where are we spending our money? Let's not kill the messenger of quality of life. Let's not kill electronic newspapers. After all, Associated Press doesn't have their own paper, do they? I don't see their paper at the stand next to Glendale News Press. But you like the Glendale News Press because often it's nothing, but nothing more than the arm of the city council. But that's okay because you approve of that. So Vanguard may not agree with you, but you know it's an alternative source. I don't always agree with Vanguard either. I don't always agree with you either, Mr. Nigerian. But you're acting like the mayor for all of us. Please act like the mayor. Thank you. I don't have any other cards. Mr. Drayman. Uh, a few things. For, let me start with the last, the comments of the last speaker. That's just absurd. Um, to equate <laughs> Vanguard um, uh, slander rag that's out there with AP or any other way, call it a news service. I'm not even sure the, the publisher of uh, Vanguard would call it a, new, a wire service or a news, electronic news service. Uh, to my knowledge, Mr. Mo, I don't know if you actually read any of this stuff. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just amazed. Um, let's see. Last time I, and I read a lot of papers, I, I, I've never remember the L.A. Times writing, uh, having the publisher put a box around his own writings in the, in the L.A. Times uh, claiming that elected officials are talking about their their mastectomies and talking about uh, uh, their maladies and their families. I don't remember the publisher hiring people to follow pe public officials around their homes, talk about their children. No, that's the kind of garbage that's in this rag run by the con artist, Barry Allen. It's just money making for him. That's all. It's nothing else. Now, I'm not saying that some of the people whose work appears there, like Mr. Milano and others, I'm not saying that that's e equal to what, what the publisher's intent is. Uh, they have a, a, an opinion they want to get out. This is a way to uh, have their, uh, their opinions published. But my goodness, uh, you know, I have a better question. We're talking about publications. Are you telling me that, that Asbras, uh, Orgark, uh, CV Weekly, even Hal Weber's uh, open, open News and Government site, uh, none of those are a part of this, and certainly some of them wrote about the quality of life indicators. I know that because at least two of those contacted me over time asking me uh, questions about their articles. 